Hey, what's up guys, it's Luke here, and today I'm going to be playing some more Madden 17 franchise, and I am back with my Madden 17 franchise, and this is our team, uh, we look pretty good so far, I like the team we have, we have Gronkowski, um, Alex Smith, AP, AJ Green, some good wide receivers, our defense isn't as good, uh, we don't have as many good players, our best defensive player is Rashad Jones, but in this week we're going to be playing week one. And I'm excited for it, and hopefully we can start our season with a win. So, here we go. Alright, so, I skipped through the preseason, and we're playing the 49ers in Week 1. And I noticed, uh, on our injury report, that a couple guys got injured in the preseason. And that includes Rob Gronkowski, which is tough. We lost him in the preseason. He has a shoulder tear. He'll be out Week 1. Justin Forsett is going to be out two weeks with a knee cartilage tear. And Chris Smith and Josh Jordan Norwood are also going to be out for some time. But Gronkowski is going to be out for a week, and Forsett's going to be out for two. So we'll have to play week one without Gronkowski. All right, so here is the injury screen um, about the Rob Gronkowski thing. He can play this week if I want him to play through the injury. But his stats go down, and his re-injury chance is high. So, I'm going to start Zach Miller. I'm going to have him wait a week, because I don't want him to get permanently injured for the rest of the season. I don't want that, so I'm going to start Zach Miller. Alright, so we're going to head into week one here against the San Francisco 49ers. Alright, here we go. Week one against the San Francisco 49ers. It'd be nice to start off the year with a win against the 49ers. That'd be nice. I don't know who their players are because it is a fantasy draft. They could have anyone. So we have our the quick returner I drafted with my last pick in the draft, who is extremely fast, 96 speed. He was the last pick I had before I sim the rest of the draft. He returned the opening kickoff, and he returned it out to the 22. So here we go. First down, we're going to give the ball to AP. He's going to run the ball first play. All right, we need to get the running game going, especially since we're missing one of our targets on the receiving end in Gronkowski. And I like the no-huddle offense. I like rolling with the no-huddle offense. I think it gets the defense off balance and they can't change plays. Here we go. And I just hit A.J. Green with the pass up to the 40-yard line. Alex Smith is one for one with 15 yards to start the game. Here we go, Rams Y out. Alex Smith starting off as our quarterback. We got some other guys out here, Vincent Jackson, Zach Miller, and James Jones. And no, fumble! No! Oh my gosh! The pressure came, and Alex Smith fumbled. And they covered it and returned it. Oh no, that's not a good start. That is not a good start. A fumble from Alex Smith, and they return it for a touchdown. Oh, God. They brought the pressure on that one, and my offensive line could not hold up. That's why I wanted that 97 overall Marshall Yonda, because I thought that it might help me out big time. But instead, we end up fumbling our first play as Dorsett brings it out to the 28. But we end up fumbling our third play of the game on a... Sack and fumble, which was recovered, and then returned for a touchdown. So we need to get something going right here. Come on. Uh, I, Jones was open on that play, and I was just about to throw it to him. But right as I was going to let it go, uh, guys stripped uh, Alex Smith, and they ended up returning for a touchdown. So we need to score it here or do something. All right, here we go. I'm going to run a stick route and go for maybe A.J. Green or Zach Miller. All right. And I get to Zach Miller for a four-yard gain. Third and two. I'm going to go with outside zone. I'm going to give – actually, no, they're coming with the blitz. I was going to say I was going to give AP the ball, but they're coming with the blitz. Now let's go Let's go with a uh, – let's go with verticals. Actually, well, let's put Green on a slant. And give it to him, because I know they're coming with a blitz. I can see it. Get rid of it. A.J. Green, first down. There we go. No huddle, no huddle. Come on. 
Alex Smith is 4 for 4, and everything's been good besides the fact that he got sacked and fumbled, and they returned it for a touchdown three plays into the game in our first game of the season. As Zach Miller gets the ball and almost breaks a tackle, but that's a nice gain right there. We're going to keep moving it up the field right here. Come on. I like going with the no huddle offense, as I said before. We're going to run the ball with AP here. See if we can get a nice gain right here with AP. And no one blocked 29. Allen. All right, AP has two rushes for five yards. All right, we're down 7-0 early. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. And I'm going to be looking for maybe Jones or Jackson here, Vincent Jackson. And But that will end the first quarter there. Uh, tough first quarter. Did not go the way I wanted it to. We ended up getting the ball first, and we ended up losing the ball quickly. So that didn't end up very good. But uh, maybe we can make a play right here and hopefully get in the end zone. All right, Lee is our second tight end today because we don't have Gronkowski. And DeMarco stays in bounds. Our 92 overall fullback with a nice gain there. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in the uh, second quarter. So we're going to give AP the ball here. Actually, they're coming with a blitz. Um, coming with a blitz. No, I'm not going to run the same play again. Um, no, let's go with the run play. AP with a gain of 2, and 227 left on the clock. I should probably use the clock here, um, but I'm going to get this off and try to score before the 2-minute uh, warning, as I believe I just sent Lee on a slant. Okay, and that's who I'm going to. Lee, and he makes the catch. Let's see if we can get one more playoff before the 2-minute warning. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. I get, I get. All right, we're not going to get it off, but we are in the red zone here, seven-yard line of the 49ers, third and two coming up. And, all right, you know what? I like this. I like this play. All right, we got Jackson coming in motion, Green going across the middle. You know what? All right, there. Third and two. Here we go. Get the first. There we go. Vincent Jackson down to the two-yard line. We should probably use some clock right now. You know what? Yeah, let's go with this play. Let's try this. Why not? Actually, you know what? I want to score here because maybe we can stop them quick and get the ball back. Let's try this with Vincent Jackson. Come on, get in. Vincent Jackson gets our first touchdown of the season on a rushing touchdown on an end around for the wide receiver. Touchdown for us. There we go. And now extra point. Ties the game. And there we go. Tie game, 142 left in the second quarter. 10 play, 71-yard drive. Took 3 minutes and 20 seconds off the clock. Now we'll see if we can hold them here. The 49ers offense, I wonder who their quarterback and the rest of their players are. That'd be interesting to see. As Devin Hester is their kick returner. All right. And he returns it pretty well. Oh, 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 oh. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Oh, God. He, he broke two tackles. I thought he was gone, but... Lee, I believe, came out of nowhere and finally got him at the 32-yard line. Uh, I'll start off with the Tampa 2 defense. So, yes, this is, our, this is our first game of the season. All our games, I think, will be pretty close. I don't think any of them, you know, will be easily one way or the other as he gets a big gain right there to number 18. I don't know. I didn't see the name. But they're going with a no huddle here. Get him. Oh, interception. Intercepted by Danny Lansenaw. There we go. There we go. Danny Lansenaw with the interception to get us the ball back with one minute and 16 seconds left. The throw by the quarterback was just a little off, and Lansenaw was able to make the catch. And now we're, we got a play right here with 116 left in the first half. A.J. Green. There we go. He gets by number 20, and he's out to the 29-yard line with a minute left. Um, let's go with Mills under. Come on. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Oh, no. I, tr I thought I had a room to run with Alex Smith, but that did not work, and he got sacked. Good thing he did not fumble again. No, let's go with a, a, a slip screen for, a, for uh, Williams. I don't know 
He must be our backup running back since Forsett is out. But he's going to get the screen, but I get sacked, and it's going to bring up a third and really long. We'll see if we can get in at least field goal range here. Maybe run a slant and try to get into field goal range. Or I could go deep. You know what? I might go deep to A.J. Green. All right, here we go. Come on. All right. Up top, A.J. Green. He's got it. Oh, what a one-handed catch by A.J. Green. We're getting a huddle just to use some clock. We don't want to call a timeout because if then we score on the next play, we give them 20 seconds left. Just to make sure. What a play there. What a nice catch by A.J. Green. Throw it. Oh, incomplete intended for James Jones. 15 seconds left. Probably should have called the timeout, but let's you know let's go with a quick run play here. Uh, actually, no. Mm, actually, yeah. To bounce it to the outside, and if it doesn't work, we'll call a timeout. To the outside, cut back in, and he's down inside the five to the four yard line. Let's we'll see if we can punch this in here, or see if we have to take a field goal. James Jones across the middle, or A.J. Green in the corner, or Zach Miller. There, there are options here, and I'm going to Zach Miller for the touchdown. Seven seconds left in the second quarter, and we take the lead on the touchdown pass from Alex Smith to Zach Miller. There we go. That was huge. That interception by Danny Lansonaugh was huge, and that played an important role on our touchdown drive right there as we are now ahead 14-7 over the San Francisco 49ers who haven't really done much on offense. They just got their touchdown off of a defensive play earlier in the game. Now with seven seconds left, hopefully we can bring it to halftime with a seven-point lead here as Hester will return. Now he had a pretty decent return in his last one, broke a couple tackles, got out to the 32-yard line. Oh, no. Oh, that was a really good t return. 38 seconds left. They might try to throw a Hail Mary here. Maybe get something before the end of the half. That looks like that might be what they're doing. That was a really nice return. He's been doing well against our kick return defense. All right, let's use... Oh, uh, no, I wanted to be Johnson. I'm not going to be Johnson. They're going to just throw it up. And it is incomplete. But there is a flag. No, please don't be pass interference. That gives them a free untimed down, and they'll get a field goal. No! Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. Oh, it was a legal block in the back. All right, good, 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 good. I, I got worried there for a second because I'm like, that that better not be what I think it is. That better not be pass interference because if it is, we're going to be in trouble because then they just could have kicked a field goal and then made it a... Uh, they could have got the lead to start the second half, but instead they can only tie the game here if with this possession if they can... Obviously, Devin Hester has been doing great against our kick return team. But we do pretty good there. He gets out to the 28-yard line. He's quick, and he's getting past our team quickly. But there we stop him at the 28-yard line. And on the first play, we're going to come with a blitz here. I'm going to use Robert Mathis and come with an outside blitz. And they pick me up pretty well. It's a fake, and he gets hit as he throws. Carson Palmer cannot make the play. He's 1 for 3 for 11 yards and a pick. As we're going to come out with the safety blitzes right here. I'm going to use our Rashad Jones, the best player on our defense, and come in with the blitz here. They have Matt Forte as their running back. Jermaine Curse is one of their wide receivers. And he throws it out to Jermaine Curse, and they get about five yards, maybe four, to bring up a third and six here with two minutes and 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the zone here. Let's go with Tampa 2. Let's go with Tampa 2. I'm going to use the middle linebacker here, Derek Johnson, 88 overall. And they throw it off to the side, and he makes the catch, but he won't be able to get it. He, like, caught it running the other way and couldn't bring his momentum back. So it looks like the 49ers are going to have to punt here, which is good. All right, Martin's going to punt us the ball. And it, Dorsett, oh, that was a really good punt. But I'm going to return it because I think I can get it past the 20-yard line, so I might as well. And I'm going to cut to the outside. He can get around 34. Get around him. Oh, not. We didn't get around him, but that was a good return. Brought it out from basically the 3-yard line to the 36. So that's good. Um, all right, first play. You know what? I, know I want to give the ball. I'm going to audible. I'm going to give the ball to AP. 
feel like he hasn't gotten enough touches yet. And nice run there. Oh, he's still going, and he gets about nine, maybe eight on the play. Um, hey, let's give it back to him. Why not? Bounces to the outside, and he's got room. Oh, a chop tackle right there. Just went in for the knees and just completely chopped him, but AP is all right. Oh, someone just got hurt. Shoulder tear will not be able to return from the game. Dorsett just got hurt. That's not good. Our kick returner, fastest guy on the team, is down. Injuries are becoming an issue already. Hopefully he's not out for too long. We don't need A.J. Green or Alex Smith going out right now. We need them to stay in the game. Six seconds left on the, shot, on the play clock. He gets it off, but I get sacked on the play. Calais Campbell gets to me. He's got to be one of their top players. Um, all right, here we go. And I get it off to Vincent Jackson, who might be able to get around the defense. He can't, but it will bring up a third in about five, third and six, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. We're at midfield. All right, let's go with the play they gave us. Eight seconds left. Maybe A.J. Green here on the slant or Julio Jones up top. Um... Not Julio Jones, James Jones. Will he make the play? He can't. It's incomplete. They broke it up, making it fourth and six. I went up to James Jones. He cannot make the play. That'll end the third quarter, and we'll have to punt and give them the ball with a three-minute fourth quarter coming up. Brad Wing will punt it away. Hopefully pin him in the corner. That's my goal here. Uh, that looks pretty good, but that, that's going to go into the end zone. All right, they got the ball at the 20-yard line with 254 to work with to potentially tie the game. All right, here we go. Danny Lansenaw, I will use him, possibly coming with an outside blitz. Unless they pick me up, maybe I'll go uh, into zone coverage. That's actually what I'm going to do here. And they throw it out and out of bounds intended for Jermaine Curse, or that might have just been... Uh, just throwing it out of bounds to get the ball away. When we bring pressure, it seems to rattle Carson Palmer. So I think that's, we're going to do that again. He's been struggling all game. They got their touchdown off of a defensive play. But we made our way back after starting off losing 7-0. Is we They get a completion right there to Chris Hogan. But he gets lit up by Rashad Jones. All right. Let's... um. User Corey Graham. Let's let Rashad Jones come in with the blitz. Uh, Four-man rush, and he is going to Matt Forte, who gets about three yards on the play. Palmer is five for eight, 26 yards, and an interception. All right, here we go. Second and seven here. Two-minute warning. So this might be it. This might be the last possession of the fourth quarter uh, probably, because they are using the clock right now, and if they start driving, I might have to call my timeouts. I'm going to use it, Corey Graham. Oh, no, I believe that's Rashad Jones out there in the middle of the field back. And they're going up top to Jermaine Kirsch, and he will make the play. And they are driving here, 41-yard 41, 41 line. As a run play, no play action, and it's picked off. Danny Lansenaw with his second interception of the game. Talk about having a day on the defensive side. He's had two game-changing interceptions. That is amazing right there. Danny Lansenaw, my right outside linebacker, has had a day right there. Two interceptions that have both changed the game completely, and now AP has a run to the outside. He's going to make his way for nine yards, and he'll stay in bounds and make the 49ers call their first time out of the half. That is amazing. Danny Lansenaw, he's my MVP for the game right there. That, two amazing interceptions completely changed the game. Without those, we'd either be tied or we'd be losing right now. That's for sure. As AP gets the first down, and they call their second time out of the game, and that might just about wrap it up. I don't understand why they're giving me a pass play. I'm just going to give the ball back to AP. Oh, no, I don't know if that's one of the audibles. Well, I'll just get, do a little quick play-action pass 
to DeMarco, and he makes the catch. And he's staying up, and he'll stay in bounds. If we get one more first down, the game is sealed. We'll kneel it and end the game. I don't understand why it's telling me to do shotgun passes with a minute left. But I'm just going to do a run play for AP. Try to get... Oh, no, let's go with the end around for Vincent Jackson. Why not? It worked earlier in the game for a rushing touchdown. Why not do it again? Go to the outside. And he's got space to work with. And it's a first down. And he breaks a tackle. Could Vincent Jackson go? But he gets tackled around the 31-yard line. But that'll do it in this game. Let's chew the clock and just kneel it and end the game with a 14-7 win over the San Francisco 49ers. Not a QB sneak. A QB kneel. That'll end the game. This should be the last play of the game. As we kneel for the victory. After starting off bad in this game, we ended up giving up a touchdown on a fumble by Alex Smith, and they recovered it and returned it for a touchdown. Uh, we ended up getting two touchdowns later in the game by making a couple nice drives. And Danny Lansonaw had two clutch interceptions that completely changed the game, and that'll do it for this game. We win week one, 14-7. Close one, but we get the win in week one. Really nice win. Alex Smith had a good day. But that'll do it for this episode of Madden 17 Franchise. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next video.